It's all over, Baron Gorky. You scum. Das Vidanya. Smith and Besson. <laughs> hmm. Funny smell. The stench of crime. Either crimes got caught in the pan, or those are the pancakes burning. Yeah. Cover me! Where do we keep the... Pepperoni? Let's eat at Papa Joe's. I was captain yesterday. A captain never drinks from a toilet bowl. But sometimes they chew your shoes. Yes. Hey! Be gone, you beast! Oscar, are you eating buildings again? There's still timber in your teeth. If I catch you one more time, you're going to jail. Just splat it with a newspaper roll, will ya? Yo, Joe. We'll have two donuts with strawberries, two with pepperoni, cup of coffee, and a, a big mug of cocoa with whipped cream for the young captain here. No way! I want coffee, too! V, what's wrong, my dear? Oh, my. Well, Daddy. This ain't gonna deliver any more pizzas ever again. Well, just what we needed right now. Well, if you'd like to report an incident in the matter of damaging your residence. Well, stop fooling around, Patrick. Do something useful for a change and deliver the remaining 200 Hawaii pizzas. Did someone say pizza? Don't even think about it. Here's the address, and don't forget the bill. Someone has to keep up with the work here, too, you know. Uh. Uh. Oh, let's go deliver pizzas then. Care for a slice? Bad lieutenant. Shoo. If you say so. We're here anyway. <laughs> Who is this? Chief Inspector Patrick McLean from City PD. And this is my partner, Captain Theodore Roosevelt. Pizza delivery service. Do we have a police department in the city? You got here right on time. A terrible crime has occurred. At your service, ma'am. If you don't mind, we'd like to ask you some further questions. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going already. Of course. Step right in. No. After we solve this case, I'll treat you to a mammoth-sized pancake. With pepperoni. Who's the last one to have spoken to the victim? There is no victim. There has been a burglary. Bur is there anything missing besides the jewelry? There is no jewelry missing. Rare flowers? Oh, that is just an ordinary Merovus Sacus or potted flesh gobbler, as the plebs would call it. Potted something. Precious exotic fish? Oh, please, that is the tank for our cards. Super intelligent robot sharks. Robot sharks. Antique furniture, perhaps? Can't you see? That is a brand new debt. What does dat mean? Deadly armchair of torture. I knew dat. Mm. 
Then what did they take? Mm, pardon. The egg of Her Majesty. Her Majesty? Where did you keep this egg exactly? Keep it down! Her Majesty is in a bad mood. My partner needs to take some samples so his super smell can lead the way. Right under her. She has been sitting on it. I'm taking myself out for a walk. Theo! Never! Let's make that double pepperoni. as much. I'll just turn left. Wait. Turn the car around. This is the place. A tavern. I should have known. These scoundrels love to hide out in restaurants. Yeah. This is the place. We'll smoke the vermin out in no time. Why don't you just talk to the bartender while I go and mingle with the mob? You're a natural, dude. I know. This is a festering blotch in the face of our city. Excuse me, sir? Say, do you smell rotten eggs? Cause I sure do. I can make an omelet, if that's what you want. Enough of the back talk. Hand over the egg, you petty thief. Sir, until I get a reasonable order, I cannot serve you. <sighs> Detective Patrick Kinsey, burglary. I'm investigating a case of a missing dragon's egg. Another round of fire breath, Panhead. I see. I can't help you with that, I'm afraid. Can I get you anything else? How about a drink? I could really use some hot cocoa right now. <gasps> uh, what I meant was, um... Here's your pint of fire breath, sir. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. Joker. Someone called Pinhead? I am Count Lawrence Apple McPie, and soon the whole world's gonna bow before me. There'll be no more roasted worms, nor cockroach stew, smoking in stinky cauldrons. Everyone gets to eat what I cook for them. Wasn't that Panhead? Ever since I was a child. All I wanted is to please the taste buds of the masses with cakes. 
crispy cookies, steaming hot chocolate. And to bring sweet happiness into their miserable, bitter hearts. But they didn't want it. Now I'm gonna show them that I can cook in other ways. I have forged the ultimate recipe for apocalypse, and the dragon's egg was the very last ingredient. Soon, you will taste my rum! <laughs> well, so much for that egg. The fate of the world is in our hands! Ah! Take them down! They cannot reach the oven! this much solid in my whole life. It's time for action 152. Which is? You know, in episode 10, season three, where Smith grabs Besson by the hand and then- Yeah, yeah, got it. <laughs> yet to come. Came and went. We're heroes! All I miss is our little pepperoni. And how about a puzzle? We have caught the egg thief before he could pass down the stolen goods at the black market. We mopped up the smuggler's den in no time, and not one pinch of the stuff has got onto the streets. We gave the egg back to its rightful owner before her claim even got into the filing cabinet. The city that lays before us is at peace once again. Inspector Theodore and I are keeping our watchful eyes on it, trying to uphold this time of fragile balance for as long as possible. <laughs> 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 